So this is Zone Clearance, which is a net wall game. And for this game, you'll need some blue mats to be split down the middle of the court with a little safety gap in between each set of mats. And then you're going to separate players equally amongst each line of mats. And then you're going to also need a beach ball. And in build one, teams are trying to maintain a rally. So they're just trying to pass the ball between one another until the ball either touches the floor or until the ball touches one of the blue mats. Now players are working together in this first build. They are not allowed to touch the ball twice in a row, but any other player, regardless of which map they're on, can touch the ball after them. And we're going to see how long we can keep this ball up in the air for. In build two, teams are now competing with each other. They are now starting to try and set up attacks. So each set of mats can touch the ball up to three times. And on the third touch, it must be sent over to one of the other mats. And the aim of the game is to make the ball either land on one of their opponent's mats or to force one of their opponents um, into a tricky shot where they cannot return it to another team. So as you can see here, the yellows have sent the ball straight over. Greens have made one pass and then sent it over. Reds have sent it straight over. The purples have used all their touches and then sent it over. And then the red team have scored. They've hit the ball straight onto the blue mat. So the reds, the greens and the purples would all score a point for that. Unfortunately, the yellows do not get any points. And that is build two. So in build three, we are now starting to move more towards our volleyball game. We've got two teams rather than four, and we have front court and back court players. So again, it's a similar sort of rules. You have three touches to return the ball over to the other team's area. As you can see here, the yellows have just taken two. They're moving the ball around, and you can use one, two, or three touches before you score the point. And after each point, the front players on each court are going to move to the back, and the back players will become the front players. They get used to playing in different positions and working on the strategies that will build into their volleyball games. So that is zone clearance with all the builds. Hope you enjoy it.